Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Let's meet our next player. It's time to pick which fifth grader. I'm going to pick Kara. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. World Geography, Life Science, U.S. History, Music, Physical Science, Art, Earth Science, Vocabulary, math, measurements. All right. Okay, the $1,000 question is. Tara locked in her. I'm going to lock in my answer. Boy, you answered that one quick. Wrong, but quick. Ugh. No. Only your partner can help you now. Yes, you're moving on. Your classmate just saved your bacon big time. Yes, yes. Thank you. You've got $1,000. Your classmate just bailed you out big time. Let's pick a subject. Okay. The $2,000 question is... Locking in. You've got $2,000. Yes! We have to say goodbye to this classmate. I'm going to go with Jay. Pick your next subject. Okay, you're playing for $5,000. Locking in. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. Excellent. Which subject? All right, for $10,000, may we see the question, please? Your classmate is locked in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got $10,000. Awesome. It's time to pick another classmate. It's you and me, Justin. Pick your next subject. Okay, you get this next question right. You leave with $25,000 no matter what happens. This is a fog that separates the different princesses and flight into a rainbow. Uh, prism. I feel good about this. Are you feeling confident with your answer? Sorry about that. You should. My voice not coming in until now. I didn't realize my microphone was on. But we're at 25 grand. Outstanding. Prisms are often made from glass, but can also be made from any substance which will let light pass through it. Pick your next subject. Third grade art, please. Okay. No matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen is you walk away with the technique. exact amount of money that you have right now. It's not pen and ink. I don't think it's a pastel. I'm pretty sure it's an oil painting, but I'm gonna peek. I'm going to have to peek at my classmates' answers. <laughs> not too not sure, sure of yourself, yourself huh? huh? Well, well let's, let's see, see what, what your, your classmates, classmates said. said. Oil painting, all green. You've got yeah. fifty. Yeah, dollars. that's what I was thinking. Yes. Get go. Did you know that the type of oil that the artist uses can change how the painting looks? Yes. It's, it's time, time to decide, decide which, which one, one of these young, young scholars. I'm going to go with Melissa. Let's, Let's pick a subject. Fourth grader science, please. Okay. The one hundred thousand dollar question. What fault is line is located in California? San Andreas. I feel good about this. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Oh, yeah! Excellent!
excellent work. It runs close to both Los Angeles and San Francisco. Which subject? Fourth grade vocabulary. Right, for 175 What's the thought on where it means to quote an authority? Uh, site, C I T E. Locking in. That is correct. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We're going for $300,000. Outstanding. Now we're down to Paul. You're down, down to your, your last, last classmate. classmate. Let's, Let's pick a subject. Fifth grade math. All right, here's our question for three or false. Three one is a prime number. That's true. I'm going, I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got three hundred thousand dollars. That was easy. Yes. Now we're going for a half million. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? <laughs> prime number is only divisible by one in itself. Last one. Okay, for half a million dollars. Here's How many packs question. equals one bushel? I believe it's a uh, four. Locking in. You've got five. Yes. Thousand dollars. Now it's yes. one million dollars. That's next. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? <laughs> you realize what time it is now, don't you? I sure do. It's time for the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. And it's time to find out the subject of the million dollar question. And there US is geography. the million dollar subject. Now you'll need to make the call. Either go for the million, or drop out and walk away with $500,000. If you go for it, you won't get any help from your classmates, and if you get it wrong, you'll walk away with twenty-five thousand. Or you could get it right and win a million dollars. What are you going to do? I'm going to go for it, Jenna. I'm, I'm going, going for it. it. You walk out of here with one million dollars, or you'll walk out with twenty-five thousand. What's What's the New England State's State's motto? Hope. Is hope. What is going through your head right now? Oh boy. I'm going with Rhode Island. I'm, I'm going, going to lock in my answer. I'm going with Rhode Island. You're now locked in for the final time. You've won yes! $1 million dollars! I am smarter than a fifth grader! Amazing! This is amazing. I'm so happy. Believe it, my friend, it's true. You've won a million dollars. Congratulations, you are smarter than a fifth grader. Yeah, buddy! Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. I just won Jay a million dollars on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader for the Nintendo Wii. See y'all for the next segment, everybody.